and welcome to Accumulate, the game show where things can quickly add up. I'm your host, Daniel Peake, nature's greatest accident. And speaking of accidents, we've booked the wrong room. Never mind, sofas galore and the show will go on. This is the first semi-final of Accumulate and the winners will go through to the final, where they could win six board games, courtesy of Eclectic Games. There are sponsors, their websites, www.eclecticgames.co.uk and they sell all sorts of board games from chess to drafts to poker to jigsaw puzzles to the more hardcore games for the hardcore gamer. But enough about them, let's get on with the programme. Let's meet our first team. Returning in blue are the Spark Knights. Their team captain is Rosie. Uh, I'm Rosie, I'm an English Lit student and I've got mutated eyeballs. Ooh. Now they're lucky, Chris. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm a second year history student and I'm frequently told I'm Foxy Dingo. <laughs> Lucky number two is Stephen. Hi, my name's Stephen. I take building surveying and I can dunk a basketball. So can I, water. <laughs> Let's move on to Why So Serious in the red corner. Their team captain is Alex. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm a master's meteorology student and I fed a hippo. Nice. Lucky number one is Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm also a Meteorology Master's student and I live next door to Larry Mullen from U2. Woo. Me too? No. <laughs> and lucky number two, Emma. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm also studying for a degree in Meteorology and I play Corfball. Corfball? What's that? Dutch. Four. Corfball. It's like basketball, isn't it? Oh, okay, because I've not actually ever heard of it. Never mind. Let's get on with the nice round one. Round one is the accumulator round. Five questions for each team. One is worth one, two is worth two, all the way up to five worth five. Before we started the show, Why So Serious won the toss, and as we say you lose, you choose, this means Spark Knights go first. So you get a choice of category. Would you like rational or irrational? Irrational. Okay, cool. You're irrational yeah. people? You want irrational? Doesn't so, surprise me. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, the answers will have something to do with mathematical terms. Great. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Joy, do you study maths? I did at A level. He yeah. loves it. <laughs> Stephen, for one point. What name is given to the parts of a plant, often below ground, that anchor the plant and help it uptake nutrients? Roots. Roots, correct. As in square roots, cube roots, any form of roots. Uh, for two points, Chris. Uh, Keanu Reeves was the one in which trilogy of films? The Matrix. The Matrix being a little array of numbers. Or not so little. For three, Rosie, according to the proverb, the what of the pudding is in the eating. The sum. Good try, it's the proof of the pudding. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. For four points, this is now for the team. Tommy was green, Zach was black, Billy was blue, Trini was yellow, Jason was red, and Kimberly was pink. In which children's TV series? Steven? It's the Power Rangers. Yeah. It is the Power Rangers. Make it sure. <laughs> Why did you look at Stephen? Because he's a child. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I think I know what proof of the pudding is. Yeah, that's true. And for five points, which piece of scientific equipment consists of a belt rubbing against a metal sphere, building up charge on its surface and making your hair stand on end if you're near it? <laughs> yes, See, it's that jiggly yeah. thing. Um, um, is that, it's like a band sort of thing, isn't it? I'm going to hurry in. Um, I don't know, we don't know. That's a Van de Graaff generator. Van de Graaff. He was a band something. Proof of the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> so... Over to Why So Serious, you got a full 15 points the last time you did this. Can you do it again? You have rational. Uh, the answers have something to do with things that were rationed in wartime. Oh, of course. <laughs> so we'll start with Sarah for one point. Sarah, what is the 20th letter of the alphabet? <laughs> do you have enough fingers and toes for this? Think of fame. S? It's T. T <laughs> was rationed in the war. <laughs> S was rationed, uh, but not in the <laughs> Let's move on to question two uh, for Emma. Red admirals and monarchs are what type of animal, having been a caterpillar earlier in their life? Butterfly. Butterfly. Butter was rationed. See, butter. <laughs> <laughs> for three points. Really Which fun. Blue Peter presenter was sacked from the show after the news of the world exposed him for taking cocaine? Uh, Richard Bacon. Bacon was indeed rationed Bacon. as well. For four points. What term is given to a radio or television drama, often broadcast more than once a week, that charters the day-to-day goings-on for family or community? A soap. I need a longer... Oh, uh, soap opera. A soap opera, yes. I'd have accepted soap, but I just wanted to make you squirm. <laughs> and for five points. 
uh, this is for the entire team of course, uh, what name is given to the television services such as Sky Box Office, where you give money to watch a particular programme on demand? Pay-per-view. Pay-per-view. Paper was rationed in wartime. And did you know that also buttons and pockets were also rationed in wartime due to a shortage of buttons and material? At the end of the accumulator round, the scores are as follows. Spark Knights, you've got seven. Whilst White Osiris have got 14. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's the because you got 15 last time. Uh... Never mind. Speculate to accumulate time. Round two is Speculate to Accumulate. I'm going to give each team a list for them to put in order within 45 seconds while simultaneously working out which of the items is a red herring in that list. They'll put that to one side and then they'll get one point for the, for the first one in the right place, two points for the second and so on and so forth. Now, as we say, you lose, you choose. You are losing, so you get to choose the category, category that you want. And this time, instead of rational and irrational, we've got family or fortunes. Family fortunes. Family? Family. Family it is. Spark Knights, starting with the nearest, put these people in order of ascension to the British throne. Remember, one answer does not belong to the list, and your 45 seconds starts now. Okay. Like Prince um, Charles. Um, and that's the, um, wait, that one's the red herring. I think that's red herring. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Prince um, Charles, William, Zara. Wait, is it Zara? And then is it, wait, whose child is she? She, I think she's Andrew's. So she would be oh, no, Andrew, Andrew. Wait, wouldn't it? Wouldn't she be after the Eugene Andrews. and Andrews. Anyway, put Charles in there. No, 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 he's number one. He's number one. Then it's William. Oh, it's in that order. Yes, in that order. Eugene is Andrew's daughter. So she'd be first, wouldn't she? And then Ten seconds. Like and then Anne. Yeah, like that. Okay. Three, two, one. That was very frantic. <laughs> so do we have a monarchist here? No. <laughs> you seem to know your stuff, Stephen. Let's see if you did. What is your red herring? Um, Camilla. Camilla is indeed not in line to the throne anywhere. She is a red herring, and I've never called a royal monarch that before. Who is your first nearest to the throne? Nearest to the throne. Charles. Prince Charles. He is first to the throne. Next. William. William is second. Next. Prince Eugenie. Princess Eugenie is sixth, and in the list is correct in its placing. Next. Uh, Zara Phillips. It's 13th, but Princess Anne is 10th, so you've got those two the oh, wrong way round. Close. But you've got three in the right place, meaning you get six points. Hey. Why so serious? Not to put any pressure on you, you got everything right last time, you got a full 15 points. Best of luck with fortunes. Starting with the richest, put these American dollar billionaires in order of their net worth. This is according to Forbes list in March 2011. And remember, one person is poor enough to not belong to the list. Your 45 seconds starts now. Do you reckon the Queen's yeah. not on the yeah. list? Okay, you take her out. She remains, yeah. So then, he, who, who, who? Um, Bill Gates. That's the richest, yeah. is Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's... Okay. Brandon's from... J.K. Rowling. She's not that rich, is she? He's a billionaire. Yeah, yeah he's, he's pretty rich. He's... J.K. Rowling's a billionaire, isn't she? Is she? I don't know. She's got a lot of money. I think you have to be a billionaire to be on the list. I you? am. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's, oh, he's selling stuff, isn't he? So, he might be at the end. What do you reckon? Is it from the rich? Ten seconds. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Time. Okay. Who is the poorest of them all on your list? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really? Uh, correct. She is the only one out of those six that is not a billionaire. You know, have to be a billionaire to be on the list. Okay. Uh, she has a poultry. 440 million. Oh, that's not the really. No, small change. Yeah. Who is your... <laughs> Indeed. Who is your richest person? Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Yes, he was actually second on the list in total and he's got 56 billion. Lovely. Oh, yeah. And if you're, if you're watching Bill Gates, hello! And uh, can we have a studio yeah. please? No. <laughs> Thanks. But keep the swivel chair. I like it. Who is second on your list? Abramovich. Abramovich is indeed second. He's got about 13.4 billion. Nice. Next. Richard Branson. It's not. It's Rupert Murdoch with uh, 6.3. Next. J.K. Rowling. No, Richard Branson with 4. Uh, then it would have been J.K. Rowling with just sorry. making onto the right. list with 1 billion. Only just making it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh well. With Why So Serious gaining 3 points in that round, they're still in the lead with 17, whilst the Spark Knights are on 13. 
I'm going to give each team 90 seconds to build a tower as high as they can by answering general knowledge questions correctly. Answer a question correctly, you get to build a layer of the tower. You get one point for the first layer, two points for the second, and so on and so forth. And if one tower is going to be a bit wobbly, which on these tables could well be, then you can build an extra tower. So you can build two towers at any one time if you think they're going to be wobbly. You lose, you're going first. Spark Knights, you're going to get 90 seconds. So are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's start the clock, and your time starts now. What colour does litmus paper turn when exposed to an alkaline substance? Blue. Correct. Lightning fast. In the 1963 film The Pink Panther, what is The Pink Panther? Uh, yes, it's a big detective. Gem. No, it's a diamond, sorry, detective was first. Uh, in what colour do you get uh, when you mix equal parts of black and white? Grey. Yes. In paint, I should have said. Let's speed more haste. Uh, it takes a day for blood to circulate around your body. True or false? False. False, yes. It's typically around a minute. Which English painter is famous for his landscape paintings, which include the Hayway? Oh, uh, John Cutsable. Yes. And we're halfway through the time. Oh no, I've hit you on your patella. Which part of your body now hurts? Kneecap. It does. Well done. The Great Train Robbery and the Assassination of US President Kennedy occurred in which year? 1960, 1963, or 1967? 1963. Correct. What is the capital of Sweden? Stockholm. Yes. No, you can't build a third tower. You can only build Second. two. I'm nice, but not that nice. 15 seconds. What is 13 squared? 169. Well done. Five seconds. Three, two, one, seven. Um, let go. Oh, Stephen! No! And that temperature <laughs> nearly knocked over the other tower. So sadly, <laughs> just one tower of three worth six points. Oh no! <laughs> Stephen! <laughs> Why so serious? We, you have a similar catastrophe. Hopefully not. Well, let's find out. Your time starts. Now, how many dice are used in a standard game of Monopoly? Two. Correct. One cup, one plate. Sounds like a video on the internet. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> which continent did the Indian elephant originate? Which continent? Africa. Asia. Yeah. Uh, the film 300 was about 300 Spartans against many more Persians at a battle in which modern day country? Greece. Yes, you redeemed your geography. India is not in Africa, by the way. Yeah, we yes. figured that one out. Like but the they originate from Africa. Not, not the Indian. Oh, anyway, no, <laughs> which of these games is the most trying? Snooker or rugby? Rugby. rugby. Yes, because they have tries. You don't store, score tries in snooker. No, you do not. Which internet sensation released a single baby that really uh, that reached number three? Justin Bieber. Sadly, yes. I can't help you over there. No, you can't. 17 well, is a prime number, true or false? True. True. Correct. And you've got 30 seconds. Which UK Prime Minister was the target of the Brighton Hotel bombing? Sure. Margaret Thatcher. Correct. 15 seconds. <laughs> a bit of a shaky hand syndrome going on here. 10. Mm. What does the RU stand for in the internet TV station of revision? Are you on? Reading Universe. Correct. Three seconds. Okay, oh, don't bother. Do I try this one? No, no two Time! Left. And you have two towers, each worth six points, for a total of twelve. Yay! Yay! And at the end of that round, Why So Serious are in the lead with twenty-nine, whilst the Spark Knights trail on nineteen. Oh. But they were pretty hot on the buzzer, so it's time for some buzzer action in the Super Accumulator. Round four is the super accumulator, and with just ten points in it, that's basically just one question any team could win. There are going to be ten questions on the buzzers, fastest finger first. Buzz and get it right, you'll get the points for that question, whether it's one for one, two for two, or up to ten points for question ten. But buzz in, get it wrong, you lose the points for the question, and I'll hand it over to the other team. But if they buzz in and get it wrong, you'll also lose the points, so be very careful. There is a theme for the questions, and I want your fingers on the buzzers, because it's going to be parts of the body in the answers. Parts of the body. Let's start with one for one. Question one. Which series of films featured a great white shark terrorising the citizens? Stephen. Jaws. It is, yes. Jaws being right there. Yeah. 
For two points, what rodent, native to South America and sometimes kept as a pet, is known as, known, oh gosh, Rosie? Um, is it a guinea pig? It's not, there's no part of the body, so I'm going to hand it over and read the rest of the question. It's known for its exceptionally dense fur, has large ears and a tail like a squirrel. Emma? Chinchilla. Chinchilla is correct. When your body nice. guinea pig. <laughs> I don't want to know when the body your guinea pig is. For three points, which band has had hits with How You Remind Me and Rockstar and is fronted Stephen? Oh, um, don't hurry you. Um, oh, I can't remember. Oh, and it's fronted by Chad Kroger. Alex. Nickelback. Nickelback, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Careful. I mean, these are only the Nickelback, but still, careful, because you are losing <laughs> points. You and you're losing at the moment. You want to gain points, yeah. but lose them. <laughs> Never mind. For four points, in which state are the cities of Olympia, also its capital, Vancouver, and Seattle? Rosie. Um. Oh, f I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good thing the bleepy man was working at that point in time, isn't it? I'm gonna have to hurry you. Seattle. No. Um, okay. I'm gonna hurry it over. For yeah. Emma. British Columbia. It's not British Columbia. Where's that in the body? Yeah. Oh dear, I've tripped up on my British Columbia. <laughs> no, that would be it's Washington. 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 Oh, Washington. So you both lose points in that question. Sorry, Are we going to have any points here? What else is bad as S? For five points. <laughs> For five points. For five points. <laughs> For five points. <laughs> For five points. <laughs> Which of Aesop's fables tells the virtue that slow and steady wins the race, as opposed to Rosie? Tortoise and the hare? Yes, that's the one. Uh, hare. <laughs> points. Positive points. For six points. <laughs> Where do photographers? <laughs> where do photographers traditionally develop their photos? Where is it? Dark room. Yes, a dark room. Mm. Oh. Oh, no, no. By the way, I had to slap you. You said snappy snaps there. Oh. <laughs> Question seven for seven. Uh, what is the seventh planet from the sun? Alex. Uranus. Correct. I don't, yeah. <laughs> don't, see anything, don't see anything funny in that. For eight points, uh, which chemical element has the chemical symbol W? Anyone? It's tungsten. Tungsten. Uh, should leave it. Uh, for nine points, what was the surname, surname of Oscar, a German businessman who saved the lives of over a thousand Jews in World War Two? Rosie. Schindler. Yes, I've got him in there twice. That's a bit of a weird thing. I must have edited out the wrong question. Darn. Never mind. Uh, you have nine points. Mm -hmm. Last question for ten. Uh, finally, what musical note is known in America as a quarter note and lasts for two quavers? Rosie. Um, quaver. It's not, I'm afraid. What? <laughs> it's not. It, it's a note that lasts for two quavers. Alex. Crotchet. Crotchet <laughs> is correct. Good job. I can't remember where the part of the body is that is a crotch. <laughs> Let's have a look at the scores. And I should point out, very well done, yes, Vancouver is indeed in Canada uh, and is in British Columbia. Well done. I'm not going to give you any extra points for that. You'll find out why in a moment. Let's reveal the final scores. One team is going to go through to the grand final, where you could win six ball games courtesy of eclecticgames.co.uk. The others will not, because you're a bit rubbish. So let's find out the final scores. Uh, Rosie, your last question was a bit of a bummer there. Uh, you, your team, ended up with 19. Whilst Why So Serious ended up on 47. Ooh. 47. Yeah. And they are this week's winners. Very well done. Yeah. So I'm not going to give you any more points because you've already won. Okay. And before you complain and write in, yes, I know Vancouver's yeah. Canada. <coughs> we don't want you to go away empty handed. So I've got my little prize around here somewhere. Oh, it's over here. And this week the prize is a plastic plane with the, with the rubber yeah. bands. And you get to fire it. So you get to go you pull it back like this and it goes whee! Oh, it wow. flashes in to one of the cameras. Oh, uh, so there you go, does. there's the rubber band for that one. Uh, and we have two more over here. Yeah, I want the orange one. You, you don't get which one you want. You've got to go. And I've given, them to the, <laughs> I've given them to the child in the group, which may have not been the best idea. <laughs> but thank you very much, both teams, for playing. So, from the Spark Knights, it's goodbye. It's goodbye. Bye. From Voice of Sirius, it's goodbye until the final. Bye. Bye. And it's from me, I'll see you accumulator!